Okay, let's find the equation of the line tangent to this graph at the point where x is equal to negative 1. Now, a lot of times when we're finding the equation of a line, we use this point-slope form of the equation of a line, uh, where x1, y1 is a point on the line, and m is the slope of the line. So our derivative is going to give us this slope right here, and the function itself is going to give us the value for x1 and y1. So let's start this problem by going up here and finding the derivative. I'll just go through this really quickly using the rules we have. The derivative of 3x to the fourth is going to be 3 times 4x to the third, so that'll be 12x to the third, plus the derivative of 2x cubed will be 2 times the derivative of x cubed, and that will be 3x squared, so 2 times 3x squared will be 6x squared, and then the derivative of 7x will be 7 times the derivative of x. The derivative of x is 1, so 7 times 1 is 7. Okay, so let's evaluate this derivative right here when x is equal to negative 1. So f prime of negative 1 is going to be 12 times negative 1 cubed plus 6 times negative 1 squared minus 7. And what do we get? Negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. Negative 1 squared is 1 times 6 is 6. So I get negative 12 plus 6. That comes out to be negative 6. Subtract 7. Well, negative 6 plus negative 7, negative 13. Okay, and since that's the derivative, that is the slope of the line tangent to that graph when x is equal to negative 1. So I have m right there. Now let's go back to the function itself and find its value when x is equal to negative 1. Let me get this right. So for the function itself, I have 3 times negative 1 to the fourth plus 2 times negative 1 cubed minus 7 times negative 1. All right, so what do we have here? Negative 1 to the fourth is positive 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So 3 plus negative 2 is going to be 1. And then here I have negative 7 times negative 1, that's positive 7, plus 1 is going to be positive 8. So let's take, here's my x1, y1, and m. I'll put those back into here and get y. Subtract y1, which is 8, is equal to m, negative 13, times x subtract x1. Well, x subtract a negative 1 is going to be x plus 1. So there's the equation of the line in my point-slope form of the equation of a line. Let's go to slope-intercept if we can. Let me write that up here. y is going to be equal to, let's see, I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Over here I'll have negative 13 times x is negative 13x. Negative 13 times x is negative 13x, like we said, and then negative 13 times positive 1 is going to be negative 13, and then I added 8 to both sides, so negative 13 times 1 is negative 13, plus 8 is going to be negative 5. So there's the equation of my line in slope-intercept form for the equation of a line, and I use the point-slope form to get it. So when we go about finding the equation of a line tangent to a graph at a certain point, we get the derivative, evaluate at that point, there's the slope of the line. We take the function itself and evaluate it at that point, and we get the x and y coordinate of that point on the line. So that's how we go about finding the equation of a line tangent to a graph at a certain point.